All right, in this video, we're going to continue dimensioning and constructing features. So since I have my trihedron, my origin at the center of this diameter, I'm going to dimension this slot. So we're going to need to do some constructions there. So we need to construct a midpoint from the point on the left and the point on the right, because that's the way the drawing is dimensioned. So to do that, we go Insert, Feature, Constructed, and point because it's a midpoint between two points. So I select those two points which is point 2 and point 3 and it's going to automatically construct a midpoint so I create that and I close that. Now I can dimension that since I constructed it. So I go insert, dimension, location. And I select that point, which is point 6, and uncheck the auto. And I only want that in the x-axis, so I uncheck the y and the z. And then I click Create. And then I can close this. And now I get my nominal dimension. And I'm going to edit that to the drawing tolerance, which is 1.870. And my tolerance is plus 10, excuse me, plus 5, minus 10. So I enter in 0 0.005, and tab, go minus 0 0.01, tab. And now I have that location. I forgot my minus sign again, so that's very important. We get that minus sign, so I can just place my cursor there and tab in minus. And then we're OK. All right, so I just tab in my nominals and then everything looks okay there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is dimension that width. So I go insert, dimension, and I'm gonna do it as a distance. Again, I'm gonna select point two from the left, point three from the right, and I get my distance, and it shows up here as my nominal, 0.472, which is what the drawing is, and I wanna to click to the feature uh, so I have more control over that, and then I create that. And then I'm going to go back later and edit those dimensions. So now I've got the uh, location and the width of that slot. Now I'm going to do the back location of that, which is a 0.236 on the drawing. So I'm going to insert alignment, and then I'm going to recall alignment again. I'm going to recall my original alignment. So I select A1, I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to go insert dimension, and location. And I'm going to select that point on the back, which is point 4. So I select that one, uncheck the auto, and I only want the y-axis, because it's going to give me the distance from the origin back, and I click Create. And I'm going to uncheck the diameter, and then Create and Close. So I click Create and Close, and it reports my dimension, that distance from this front surface to the back. I'm going to edit those later. Now I'm going to do the width of this slot, or the distance between that slot. So I go again, Insert, Dimension, and Distance. And I'm going to select that Line 2 and Line 3 for my list, Line 2 and Line 3. And I'm going to select it to the feature, and you can see how it changes that nominal, but I want it perpendicular to each other. And then I click Create and Close. And now we're going to report this 0.5, which is a z-axis dimension. So we just go Insert, Dimension, and Location. And I've got my 0.5, and I only want it in the z, and I click Create and Close. So now all we have left is reporting the location of that sphere. So it's going to be the same concept. Insert, Dimension, Location, and I click on my sphere, and I want the X and the Y, and the radius. So I check the radius, uncheck the diameter, and I create that, and I close, and it builds that.